Tulsa area United Way is celebrating 100 years of service. They kicked the week off with a party and today they passed a torch to some of the nonprofits they help sharing a message of unity. Two News Oklahoma's Clifton Haskin takes us to Sand Springs to see the impact happening there. A passing of the torch from location to location. And while this torch isn't actually hot, Tulsa United Way told me their compassion is. The Sand Springs Community Services was one of 10 stops on the two day journey. The nonprofit provides resources like a food pantry and clothing for all ages at no cost. I ran into Jeanette McLaughlin, who was on her way inside. And they've also provided food for us. And now I just had made mention that my three year old granddaughter's with us, and they're even going to cover some food with that too. So. It's been a blessing. Sand Springs Community Services has been funded by this partnership for nearly 50 years. Because of this, they told me they can provide half a million dollars of food or 130 tons of food each year. McLaughlin says this is essential to the community. Sure enough, and I've even uh, had some homeless people ask me about it and they've I've referred them here and they've come here and was able to get um, some food too and some help. And it's not just food and clothing. They have disability services and pamphlets for families who speak different languages. Nathan Woodmancy, director of the Sand Springs Community Services, says the funding helps them go above and beyond. Also provides resources that allow for us to provide referrals back to families that might have needs that go outside of our services but are supported by other United Way agencies. So how does Woodmancy feel about being able to provide different resources for all these years? Tulsa United Way enables us to be a conduit of blessings. We're simply an organization that functions as a pass through folks that have things to give that want to help those that have need. Sand Springs Community Services told me that if anyone wants to donate, you can show up right to their door or donate online. Reporting in Sand Springs, Clifton Haskin, 2 News, Oklahoma.